So our next speaker is the former AntShares Overseas Manager. He led AntShares' global token sale campaign, is a co-founder of 4ERPR, China's top marketing and consultancy firm for crypto marketing projects, and he's got a ton of clients in the top 100 car uh, list of market cap coins. He's the founder of Trinity, so help me welcome Li Yiling. Hello, everyone. I expect that, you know, uh, I think a lot of people have been waiting for this, but probably some of you don't know about me, okay? So I'm gonna start a quick introduction of myself. Uh, I started at Anshers when it was still Anshers uh, as the overseas community manager, and we helped a lot with the, you know, the token sale, uh, the initial community setup of Anshers, and it was quite an experience. I had the honor to, you know, uh, work with some of the best uh, crypto people in the world. And it, it come to me, okay, it was, uh, th th there's a start. Why we wanted to do, do this, okay? So early last year, uh, when we were still doing, you know, normal crypto trading, uh, we find that the Bitcoin network was like having congestion problems, okay? So uh, probably some of you guys in the US don't know about this. But actually, you have to pay uh, the mining pools an acceleration fee to get your Bitcoin transaction confirmed as soon as possible. Otherwise, uh, it could take hours to get through. So I was thinking, okay, we in the crypto are saying we are the future. We consider the fiat currency and banking system belong, belonging to the Stone Age. How can this be, how can this happen? And somebody has to do something, okay? So back in Anchors, we were talking, you know, to Eric in the, in the office every day, and we thought, hey, we should have this for Anchors. But uh, to be honest, it wasn't ready by then. Uh, the smart contract system wasn't built up yet, so we were all waiting, okay? So later I left and, uh, you know, to dive into the crypto world deeper. And now finally, you know, uh, later last year, we had a chance to formally set up the team uh, to do what we have been hoping to do for a very long time, and that would be Trinity. Okay, Trinity starts uh, serves as a, as a, as an option scaling solution for Neo. What it means is that okay, let, let's make a simple analogy. Okay, a bottom layer blockchain is like a, let's say a road system. Okay, and for any road system we built, a, let's say, an overcross or expressway system on top of it, on top of it. And uh, our token, TNC, serves as the fuel for the vehicles passing through uh, this expressway system, okay, as the fuel. And the vehicles will be the assets trading and the data exchanging on uh, this blockchain, okay? so. Could you help me with, uh, with the slides? Uh, so actually, can, can you help me with the slides too? <laughs> oh, on the table, oh, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Let's go back a little bit. So many people ask me, why does Neo need Trinity, okay? Why does it need option scaling? Neo currently is the best for performing public blockchain in the world. It has a very high transaction throughput. Why does it need it? Uh, actually, any public blockchain needs option scaling because in our opinion, it is impossible to solve the public problem once and for all, uh, for no matter how high your transaction throughput will be. Uh, because not just for the simple transactions you are making on, on the blockchain, Every uh, operation logic is being implemented on a blockchain through the form of a transaction. So that means you will be having, you know, a, a astronomical number of transactions uh, required. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's the first thing we do. That the second thing is uh, we currently facing a problem. Is okay, we see a lot of uh, you know ecosystem partners join, joining Neo. And we estimate that they will be building a fantastic system. And we'll have uh, users 
trying to purchase their services or products, but the idea of you know, purchasing their tokens through a traditional tradi centralized exchange, withdraw it to a wallet, and spend it uh, you know, through, through an on-chain transaction wallet, that would be very troublesome. So the idea of Trinity is also to enable you guys can easily swap your TNC or NEO into your desired app token and then send it through the state channel. Okay, so state channel, about state channel, this is a very interesting fact. Uh, because I believe state channel, uh, the notion of state channel, the term was firstly uh, proposed by Eternity. I was the, actually, you know, I gave the name of uh, state channel in Chinese and I was, you know, among the first to, to introduce Eternity to the Chinese audience. Apart from that, I think state channel technology has, uh, hasn't reached its full potential. So we are bring, uh, bringing it together to build this uh, system for NEO. Uh, the basic nature of a, of, of a state channel is that it's a payment gateway between two or multi, multiple uh, trading counterparties. And uh, all the transactions going through uh, these trading counterparties will be private and off-chain but it's not a centralized system like you are seeing right now with Alipay or WeChat Pay. Uh, every, with every transaction, a state, a new state will be generated and uh, it will be updated with uh, every other new transaction. So you always have a latest state and according to the latest state, the blockchain will settle the final balance change. So no matter how many transactions you have between trading counterparties, they will on, you only require one uh, transaction to settle it on the, on the blockchain, okay? But you're still enjoying the merits of a, of a blockchain. That is, uh, you, you cannot falsify or double spend these transactions. This is some basic understand, uh, introduction of the, of the uh, state channel, but I'm not going in any deeper into it. Uh, very soon that uh, we will be updating everything, you know, the basic introduction on our GitHub, so you can check it there, and we will have uh, seminars about the technology, you know, and our developing team will be giving speeches about it. Okay, that's the interface of the wallet we are developing, and we will soon, you know, launch it uh, to, and deliver it to the users, okay? So this, I think showing you guys the picture is not enough. And uh, we promised everybody uh, for you know, de demonstrating this app on our party last night. I believe many of you attended. Uh, but it was quite crowded and a lot of people. So we showed a little video after it to demonstrate how this actually works. Okay, can you help me with the video? Hi guys. So we just finished the Trinity party tonight and it was like over 300 people attending. So it's a little bit crowded and very loud so we can have a good chance to uh, show you the demo. So now we're gonna shoot a little video here and to show you how this looks like, okay? So this will be, well, a little demo for the Trinity app. Okay, this is the interface. This is where you can see the ancient balance and there's a channel balance where you put your deposit. It is zero because uh, uh, this wallet hasn't opened any state channel yet. This is the address. And from here, you can access all these uh, features. For example, you have like normal on-chain transaction. And this is where you start a state channel with someone else. So we're gonna try it. So we're gonna hit start. And this is where you scan the uh, address of the counterparty you're going to do transaction, of course, you can import from the address book. So we're gonna scan it. Okay, so now I got the address of the counterparty here. Now, you see there's a time limit of the state channel, where I can set it between, sorry, my hand, fingers, okay, between one day, 
to 30 days and actually uh, this day channel can last as long as you want okay but there are economic limitations on this i'll explain later okay let's see let's see let's set it at 19 days and this is where i put in the deposits okay so for example i put in 1000 tnc as deposit hit next and i will input the password here So we'll start to establish the, establish the state channel. Currently, this is running on new testnet. On this side, you can see the channel is, uh, well, yeah, just added the new one. It's opened, okay, from the same block height. And now, uh, the state channel is, uh, is uh, uh, established so I can send from this side to this side all in state uh, all in channel payments okay so for example I can send let's say 100 TNC do remember that uh, you cannot exceed the deposited amounts if you want to you know send more money you have to put in uh, more deposits okay so that's actually the economic limits Uh, the password part will be on uh, our iOS version. You can use uh, Face ID or Touch ID to activate it. So receives the hassle of sending this uh, with the password event. So that's a success, okay? Instance, and from this side, we refresh. So added 100 TNC, okay? This is the internal thing. So if we go back, <coughs> go back to the uh, homepage, you'll see that uh, we have still have 900 TNC in the channel balance, which is serving as a deposit here. On this side, you will see uh, 100 actually uh, has five TNC in channel before, so now it has 105 in the channel balance. Okay, that's considering your wallet already. But let's see, uh, let's show this again. If I want to send it again, let's say let's send them 50. In channel payment. Instant. And there you go, minus 50 balance. There you go, refresh, well, 50 more, right? So now, uh, anytime you want between these days, you can, one one side of the party can decide to terminate the state channel. So you just get, close the channel, okay? And it will be closed, but uh, we will show the interface later. Uh, actually, this part is an unchained transaction to uh, close the, settle the state channel on the new blockchain. So back to the interface, you can see the unchain balance has been added. Well, on the side, it has been minus. Okay. Another feature of, uh, of our interface I want to introduce to you guys is uh, this token swap function. We're still developing it. Uh, this is about, uh, you know, normal users, we can say normal users uh, in the future, when they are purchasing these app tokens on NEO, uh, most of the time, they should be purchasing the exact amount they want uh, to buy a certain service or product, not as traders to buy a large quantity. So we build this interface where they can easily swap their NEO or TNC uh, into the desired app token at a very small amount. And the right directly within the app, they can send uh, these tokens to their you know, merchants or uh, you know, trading counterparty and it's instant payments so that's all that's a that, that's it for uh, that, that's it for the for the you know trinity app for now <clears throat> but uh, when we are going to launch this uh, i think we'll add like uh, approximately 70 percent more features of what you're seeing right now
but I cannot disclose what those will be, okay? And uh, yeah, thank you for your time, okay? Okay. I got people asking me if uh, you know that was the first stage shadow payment on Neo. Uh, no, it's on testnet, and uh, when we are demonstrating it, means that we have it in the laboratory, you know, testnet already long ago. Okay, but when we do it on the mainnet and we deploy on the mainnet, we'll let you guys, we'll let you guys know. Okay, so uh, some features of our, our protocol feel. Okay, people ask me why you need a token. Uh, this is a serious qu question because people also question reading. Why you need a token for state channel? The, obviously, I cannot I cannot directly call you know Neo or Gas to to to, to function uh, as as the protocol fuel. So you pay for the deposit like you guys have seen. You pay with TNC for transaction fees. Okay, you don't pay normal transaction fees. If the state channel operator is going to charge you uh, this uh, service fee. Uh, they will be provide. They have to provide advanced functionalities. Uh, so, for example, we start with uh, sort of a VPN uh, before you send to the trading counterparty to provide your anonymity. Okay, and also, you know, this uh, this can be used to send out all kinds of tokens, not just uh, you know UTXO assets or TNC itself, but also other you know NEP5 assets, and you know, like I said, as a medium of exchange. Somebody even, you know, in our community were asking us, is it possible that we made it into a token that is accept accepted by ICOs uh, or, or, or token sales, okay? That's uh, out of the scope, but, uh, you know, I appreciate people liking this so much. Okay, there are some problems with, uh, with the current design, like you guys have seen, okay? It involves, uh, involves a complicated procedure to put in deposit. Deposit is something that people don't like, right? you will have psychological burden. You will, it will also lock down your liquidity. And if you continue with some people for a very long time with a state channel, you have to put in a lot of, uh, let's say, a collateral to prevent double spending. So with microtransactions, is most obvious, okay? You don't want to pay $2 as a, as a collateral before you want to buy a $2 coffee. So we're, pro we're looking for solutions, like we said, pro possibly with uh, some kind of KYC mechanism. Uh, so just like the current existing, you know, uh, centralized uh, payment systems, uh, if we have the KYC information, probably we're gonna skip this part. The second question is the privacy protection. We, this functions, uh, you know, at multiple layers, not just with, you know, the anonymity of the address, you know, to prevent it to be associated with your real world identity, also with the state channel operator. So the possible solution is when we decentralize uh, the state channel operating, you know, there are many operators of this, uh, a possible solution is that we make transactions bounce from one another uh, between these uh, uh, operators. So one operator will not be able to see the full history of the transaction. Okay, people were asking us about the roadmap for a very long time because I'm like the you know, only project on the market right now we don't provide a full roadmap before you do the token sale. <laughs> Actually, we have uh, said it long ago, and I don't think it is uh, healthy for projects to give out very detailed roadmaps before they actually do it. Or, you know, there are certain things you have to keep secret to increase your competitiveness, right? So this is the roadmap for the core protocol. I'm releasing this now, and it should be updated our website already, okay? So we start with the core protocol. We'll start with the public testing on Neo Testnet uh, by end of February, right after the Chinese New Year. And uh, I think we will start with the public testing on, on, in April, okay? So right now we're aiming to, uh, you know, user app launch in May. But you guys have to know that the user app uh, we, I just demonstrated is not the final version, okay? We'll add a lot to it. And even if it's launched, a user app is far from uh, what a, you know, a state channel network should be looking like because uh, you don't just get users to use as a daily payment method, okay? You have to have industrial adoption. You have to have corporate clients. That's what we're aiming right after that. You already got users who got familiarized with the channel technology and you're using it 
and we will start with the adoption part, okay? And uh, like we have demonstrated, it starts with the most obvious uh, possible clients from gaming to IoT, also a crypto trading engine is something we are going to develop. Uh, also with the decentralization of the operation of the state channels. It is very critical since we have an incentive model for people who want to join and contribute to the network and build it uh, you know, as, a, as a global P2P network. Okay? A concurrent development is something I'm going to announce later. I think we'll start in March and then through April to June. Uh, it is a concurrent development being undertaken by the Chengdu team we have. And uh, I'm going to keep secret uh, of it right now. And if you ask us, uh, do you consider yourself a competitor to Raiden or Lightning? I say no, because uh, when we release everything, you'll realize we are on a very different level. Okay? But let's keep it as a secret for now. Okay? When I announce something, when I announce something, it's something done, not something I'm going to do. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay? Business-wise, this is hollow. I'm gonna have to say this is hollow. I'm not giving any names. But when we want, when we do it, we are not going to cooperate with any company who smell money in blockchain and come here to rip off the people here. Okay. We're going to cooperate with people who really want to build a better world with us. So we do have someone in mind, and you know we have uh, clients in Chengdu and Shanghai, you know, knocking our doors and trying to get in. Hey, how do we get to blockchain? Uh, but actually, you know, we prefer people come to us individually. They have talents and experience. If it's a working business, normally they have many problems adopting this new technology, especially how to transform their old incentive system to the new one, uh, to the new one. So uh, we do have some partnerships with project teams within our industry, and it will be very good teams. And we will produce serious progress, OK? These are uh, the timelines we're going to announce then. Uh, uh, regarding this pilot project, uh, this is, uh, this is a very, something very interesting. Because like I said, we're building the expressway system. And the TNC is the protocol fuel, right? But who's going to consume it? The vehicles. Who are, what's the best vehicle to consume it? We're like, the, uh, we're like, you know, we're going to incubate a team to build and to demonstrate the usage, the magnificence of state channel. OK? So yeah, that's it. Uh, regarding the, you know, the most imminent thing uh, on our community, Okay, so we will, we're close to finish the user system of TCCIP, which is a Trinity Community Incentive Pro a Contributor Incentive Program. We are covering all aspects, okay, no matter you help to spread word, you grow our community, uh, do videos and articles on it, or you have serious uh, techno technology contribution, business development contribution. We have a budget for that. And it is also important that through this way, we will increase uh, the supply of TNC on the market and at the same time reward those who help us, OK? Yeah, that's the, that's the timeline. Feel free to take the picture, but you don't have to actually. We have a better, better graph uh, on our website, OK? Yeah, that's it a very <laughs> Also, in the beginning, you know, I have to admit I advanced our schedule a little bit because, you know, original schedule, I'm going to announce the tokens you're here. But, you know, no. Uh, we uh, so, in the beginning, people were asking, okay, do you guys have a GitHub? Oh, it seems empty. No, really. Uh, actually, we have uh, updated quite a lot of contents on our GitHub, and it will be uh, the same, you know, uh, you know, gradually added to the GitHub uh, with time. And, uh, Probably you will discover uh, the secret I secrets I just mentioned before anyone else. If you're not there, can they know the codes, okay? Uh, and if you check the GitHub, okay? So, in the end, I would like to thank uh, Neil Council and uh, you know my former colleagues. Really appreciate that I have this opportunity to present here and also to add to the value of this network. 
you know, it reminds me of the early days when I was in Anshirs. People come to me and say, hey, is, is this really going to work, you know? Who did you copy? Who did you fork? Anshirs, no, actually I said, uh, it's a completely original block, public blockchain from China. It's going to have the second working independent smart contract system in the world. Nobody believed. And look at what, where we are right now. And I do believe that the visions uh, of the Neo Council and as general, the Neo community to build this ecosystem into, you know, uh, driving to a better future and really to, you know, shape the world. So when we look back from a few years later, we will be, you know, so grateful for everything. Okay? Thank you, guys.